Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel today. Today guys we have episode number 12 of our Juventus career mode on FIFA 19. Uh, this is the second to last episode of the career mode and we're starting things off in the second leg of the semi-final in the Coppa Nazionale against Inter. Now before I do get into the highlights if you could leave a like on the video that would be greatly appreciated. Also comment your thoughts on the video down below if you have any uh, queries or anything like that. Um, I will be showing a stats overview and table overview, or not table overview, stats overview and custom tactics and formation, um, like overview I guess you want to call it, um, after the last episode. So that, that video will probably go off on like a Sunday maybe, just after I upload a few more of my um, Cardiff and Wolfsburg career mode. So also subscribe. If you are new around here, that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, just to hit over 250 subscribers, uh, which is great for me. Um, obviously, small channel, still growing uh, strong. So, moving on into this game um, against Inter. First leg was a 1-0 um, victory. Uh, not not the most um, comfortable of wins, but then you just see a goal like that from Ronaldo, and then it just shows the talent that we have in the squad. Um, quality goal from Ronaldo, straight in the top corner. Uh, Handanovic was never saving that and it gives us a nice little two goal cushion on the aggregate um, tally. Uh, Ronaldo again so unlucky not to score a second of the game, um, just hitting the post and going wide. Uh, really unlucky uh, from Ronaldo there. Uh, second half now, Pogba to Bale, Bale to Ronaldo, back to Bale. Bale, what can he do with it? He shoots and he completely skies it, absolutely skies it over the crossbar. Um, which is really annoying, but here we go again. Another counter attack here. Costa to Ronaldo, who drives on through into the box, whips it into Dybala. And I don't know if it, like, is that really going to be a penalty, ref? I can't believe I've been given a pen for this. Honestly, when you see the next replay, I just don't get what um, what he's done wrong. What, what's wrong there? And then Dybala just fell on the floor after that, after I skipped it. Anyway, nonetheless, we've got a penalty to our to our good. Dybala steps up, wins it, takes it, scores it. Really, really nice um, penalty there from Dybala. I don't really like the penalty system on FIFA 19. I just think it's it's not good enough, in my opinion. Anyway, nice goal from Dybala. 3-0 up on aggregate. You can pretty much guarantee us to go through to the final now. Uh, a ball gets played over the top by Keita. Uh, Martinez, uh, unlucky with the header, straight at Chesney. Easy save for Chesney. Perisic, nice ball in. Uh, Kate Valde misses it, Joao Mario picks it up, edge of the box, plays the ball in, Benascia just, oh, Chiellini just about clears it, um, obviously there was a rebound opportunity there but it never happened, Perisic again, whoops another ball in, good deliveries from Perisic in, in this game, uh, but Chesney again, out to get it, clears it, Bale, such a bad cross from Bale, Ronaldo was in the box but that does not matter as we have won and we are going through to the final of the Copa Nazia now, I do believe we will be playing Napoli in that game. Anyway, this game, league game straight after against Inter, my computer corrupted again while recording a video. Just blue screen me. It's really annoying. I think I fixed the problem now. Um, but yeah, so I missed out on five of the goals, and then you're only going to see like a couple more. Here's one of them: uh, Brozovic getting in uh, a good position after a poor clearance from us. Um, really annoying. As you can see there, Morata scored both of our goals uh, for, obviously for us, Juventus. Um, here we go again. Another great chance for Inter, but Perry makes a great save. And here, I don't know why my defence was just backing away from him. He somehow hits the crossbar instead of scoring from that angle. Um, we got a bit lucky there. Anyway, 87th minute now. Really good cross in. Terrible clearance from De Siglio, And then he misses the ball again. And yeah, and then the, the, the geezer on the left wing scores, which was... Um, Really annoying because we should have cleared our lines. Uh, so João Mario Martinez and I think Perisic got the goals for the for um, Inter in the uh, other goals. So we get a chance there. Cuadrado Dabali tries to get a rebound. It uh, gives away a free kick. Uh, oh no, Bernadeshe, Sorry. Um, really, really poor um, attempt of winning the ball. Anyway, Morata flicks it up, goes for a bicycle because I've seen the keeper off his line and we had already lost this game. So I thought, why not? Let's just go for it. It wasn't that far away, I guess. But pretty comfortable save for Handanovic. Tried again for a counter attack. Um, Mandzukic slide tackles right at the end. Tries to get the ball. Unfortunately, didn't go our way. We are now three points clear of a game in hand against uh, from Torino, and now we go against Udinese in a home game, which I am simulating because I think it's a bit 
easy at home as well so um, Udinese aren't exactly high up in the table so Dabala scores and then uh, we concede within like five minutes of the uh, Dabala's shot going in uh, it's 1-1 now we just really um, looking for another chance and then Ronaldo does give it to us in the 56th minute um, making us to go 2-1 up and then Dybala scores a penalty getting a brace in this game uh, we do come out as 3-1 victors now we move on into a game against I believe I don't actually know is it Torino? it could be Torino I'm not sure because the, the animation is just taking so long to get there is it Torino? it is Torino okay now this is a title this is a title decider episode or um, not not episode well it is in a way but this game is a title decider whoever wins this wins the league in my opinion because there's only like three points in it after uh, if like if Torino beat us I think they go level on points anyway Dabala gets slipped in really good save from Sirigu Sirigu had an absolute world class game um, against us like he was saving everything look Pogba booming header free header Sirigu easy save Chesney now, he got the ball from um, a poor effort on goal. I wasn't going to add that because it was just such a bad effort. Um, we got lucky with the bounce there to Ronaldo. Dybala plays it through to Bale. Bale slots it into the bottom corner really coolly. Um, what a great counter-attack goal that was. Counter-attacking goal that was. Um, Bale slotting it in really nicely there. And we do go 1-0 up against um, the second place Torino. Now, Pogba into Bale. Bale cuts inside really nice there. Drives on in, shoots, great save from Sirigu again. Uh, I tried to force the corner, but um, the keeper, uh, not the keeper, the uh, centre back was able to clear it out for a throw in. And then we move on into the 45th minute just before half time. Bale tries to play a cheeky pass through to Pogba. Um, we get a throw in here, Bale to Pogba. Pogba tries to cross it first time, messes it up, gets another chance. Douglas Costa with the header, straight at Sirigu, not really um, challenging for uh, Sirigu there. Anyway, second half now. Playing a bit of risky football to Reno at the back there, and it falls to Dybala after the clearance. Uh, ends up with Ronaldo. Ronaldo, great shot, and it's just wide. Really nice effort there. Really nice football from us as well. The nice, like, tick attacker passing. Anyway, um, poor clearance again from uh, Cancelo into um, Williams there, who straight at the keeper for Chesney. Nothing uh, hard to deal with. Now, we pick up a free kick of around the edge of the box, kind of. Not really. That's probably like a 25-yarder. And then that's actually a red card for Torino. Um, Ronaldo on the free kick. Uh, Crichaui again the second yellow. Uh, Ronaldo, such a bad effort. I just I just can't score free kicks on this game unless they're literally like on the edge of the line of the box. Anyway, 74th minute now. Uh, Torino pressing on. I pressed up too high with my defenders and brought my keeper out a bit. But Chesney does make a really good save um, to prevent them from scoring. I brought on Morata for Bale I do believe because Bale was, had low stamina and I wanted to bring on some fresh legs anyway I missed I messed up with bringing the keeper out here shouldn't have brought Chesney out because it messed it up because he went back post trying to catch the ball uh, then bottled it and then the guy laid it across to uh, one of the players who just smashed it into the net with a header um, which is really frustrating they nearly scored again in the 82nd minute where Chesney had to make a good save uh, I've taken Rabio off because he was like Bale he's losing stamina really quickly uh, I brought Pjanic on, bringing some fresh legs. Uh, we got lucky there. Chiellini, a great header to get the ball out. 89th minute now. Quadrado picks up the ball to Dybala. Dybala lays it off to Pogba. Pogba shoots and he smashes the crossbar. Dybala was not able to get a rebound and Pjanic tries and it was a woeful shot. Straight to Sirigu. Um, again, Morata breaking on through. 92nd minute, shoots, gets blocked by the defender and he does clear it as well. And then, unfortunately... Uh, Pogba tries to boot up to Quadrado, uh, but unfortunately we could not get another chance at goal. So we do draw 1-1, which is kind of good for us, because that means Torino gets set back uh, and like four points behind us or something like that. Um, so yeah, moving on into a big game against Roma. This is a vital game as well, because um, this is a title deciding episode. Like like I said before, the game was now, because we're playing against opposition like this, this is just title deciding episode. We need to win this game um, against Roma. Now the they started off pretty um pretty sharpish, you know, straight attacking me um down the wing here with uh, Perotti, I do believe he's completely sold me there and he tries to do it again but Pogba does tackle him and uh, sends it out for a corner in the first 3 minutes of this game. The ball gets whipped in from Juan Mata of all people. I don't know what Bale was doing there. He headed it backwards um towards our goal and then uh yeah, 
that guy just completely ballooned over the crossbar. But anyway, um, around that eighth minute now, uh, the same guy that just ballooned over the bar whips a ball in. Uh, Prot is at the back post. Uh, Cancelo does clear it. Pogba picks it up, gives it to Bale. Bale to Ronaldo. Ronaldo to Dybala. He's in acres of space. He's one on one with the keeper near enough. That touch was pretty dodgy. Went again. Went to shoot, and somehow the keeper has saved that. Um, Castiles. I don't know how he saved that. Great save. Dybala whips it in Ronaldo's front post, and he just misses it. Um, Chiellini on the ball now, plays it across to Pogba, Pogba to Bale, Bale will try the first time shot to find that top left corner but unfortunately he was unable to and he, he gives away the ball stupidly. Um, Sandro now on the ball, really nice run from him, great run from Dybala who's one on one with the keeper and um, he coolly finishes it into the top corner there, um, really nice goal uh, and his standard celebration uh, from Dybala, yeah. Sandro made the great run, Ronaldo picked the ball, one touch, passed it through to Dybala with a great run as well. Um, 23rd minute now, free kick for Roma, uh, we do clear it out of Chiellini, Chiellini comes to Bale, Bale lays it off to Costa who gives it to Dybala and it was a poor pass but then we got lucky with uh, that because the clearance went straight to Dybala, played it over the top to Bale, Bale into Costa, Costa into Dybala and um, yeah, you won't see a better counter-attacking goal. Well, you probably will, because I score. That's all I score is counter attacks. Um, really nice finish from Dybala there uh, to get his second of the game. Now, Dybala was not done there. Anyway, we pick up. They try to clear the ball, and um, we lay it off to Dybala, who plays it across the bail. Bale slides or oh, fake shot, sorry, and then um, goes goes for the spectacular from like 35 yards out, uh, and he just it goes straight over the crossbar, which was um quite annoying but anyway I thought I'd go for it you know tune it up pretty comfortable moving on into the second half of this game Perotti tries to whip a ball in Cancelo does read it and makes a great block to send it out for a corner for Roma again um, whips it in front post Pulp is there um, great save from Chesney as a, I think that was Edin Dzeko there with the header um, you know not a bad um, not a bad effort great save again anyway cleared it out with Rabio partially and then the shot just goes straight to Chesney. And um, we try to get a counter attack on here. Douglas Costa using his pace, links up with Ronaldo, back to Costa, who bombs it down the line. Uh, he's still going here, straight into the box, chips it back across, and Dybala is there to finish and get his hat trick. I thought it was going to land to Bale, to be honest, um, for Bale to finish, but it well, clearly didn't. Dybala gets his hat trick, and um, yeah, really nice, um, really nice goal there from Dybala. It's a really good hat trick from him. Uh, I'm pleased that uh, Dabala did manage to get himself a hat trick. Anyway, Dabala now picked up the ball, plays a nice through ball to Gareth Bale. Uh, Bale does his uh, well, attempts to do a really nice low cross, but uh, no one was in the box, and two, the keeper comfortably got the ball anyway. So, Ronaldo gets the ball from Costa. He drives on into the box now. I tried to cut back. I probably should have crossed that first time, but anyway, Ronaldo goes himself, shoots, and it's a great save from Castiles again. Um, really, really nice uh, save. Uh, whips it in, Ronaldo's front post, but um, Inzonzi does clear it ahead of him to get the ball out for a throwing for us. And for some reason, Chiellini is on the throw-ins, which is strange. Anyway, Pogba picks up the ball into Dybala. Dybala's going for his fourth goal. Tried to dink it into the top corner, but unfortunately it didn't work. And Quadrado comes on for Costa, who is um, lacking in the stamina area. Anyway, we um, they do take a goal kick. Um, straight to um, Stones of all people playing for Roma into Kolarov, Kolarov down to Rossi, Rossi across to Nzonzi, Nzonzi plays it to Perotti, Perotti to Pastor, Perotti whips it across, well he tries to and then it bounces off Chiellini and then some reason Popper just left it and Perotti just, I don't know, he just taps it into an empty net because my keeper was obviously dealing with the first initial shot and then Popper just left it. Uh, and that bounce from Chiellini, you just can't write that bounce, it's just unfortunate for us. So, 3-1 now, uh, 89th minute now, they're pushing on to get another goal here, and Edin Dzeko is one-on-one, -on -one. oh no he's not, it's not Edin Dzeko, my bad, anyway, that striker tried to chip my keeper, and uh, completely scuffed it, and it went well wide, uh, we play the short ball from the corner, uh, from the goal kick, sorry, Popper picks it up, into Bale, Bale into Ronaldo, uh, Ronaldo nice check ball into Dybala, who shrugs off the defender with ease, he's one-on-one, -on -one, near enough, and uh, if the game didn't end, that would have been a penalty, and Dawala would have got his fourth goal. But anyway, can't complain um, because we won 3 1. Anyway, moving on into the final game of the episode um, Juventus versus Atalanta at home. 
uh, assume this game because Atalanta aren't a great side in terms of this career mode. So yeah, um, I sim this. I decided to sim this game. Rabiot puts us up uh, one 0 twenty uh, seventh minute. Really nice uh, to see Rabio scoring again for us. He's doing well for us uh, in that centre mid role. But anyway, guys, cross the scores. I'm going to end the episode off right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.